Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. So it's time to do my March favorites and also like a life update. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that my favorites are the only videos that are like filmed in real time, just because I don't know what I'm gonna be loving for that month until I get to the end of the month. So if you guys would like to hear a little life update and see my favorites for the month of March, then just keep watching. Okay, so if you missed my February favorites, towards the end of February, I was offered an HR job, which is what I did prior to becoming a mom. And I wasn't too set on the role. So I was hoping that something else would pull through that was in my line of expertise, which is the leaves of absence. And so right before I was supposed to start this other job, I got an offer to be the leave of absence coordinator for a business. I don't want to give out the name. Um, so I accepted and I started March 4th. So this entire month has been a whirlwind. I had orientation for almost a week and then I was like in-person training and there was no one in the role prior. So it's kind of like pull the bits and pieces together, figure things out as you go, try to combine this process, this process, this process, this process, and this one all into one streamlined process for the entire organization. So it has been a work in progress, but I finally feel like I have a handle on the role at like four weeks in. So that is promising. I am hoping it turns out to be a really good fit. So that's what I've been doing this entire month. I have basically gotten out of bed, gotten the kids ready for school, walked over to the office, logged in and kind of worked eight to nine hours straight every single day. Haven't had like a breather to do anything else. So playing with new makeup's kind of been out of the question. So the products that I've been enjoying this month are the ones that have been helping me with my like fast and easy, get presentable for Zoom meetings, team meetings, conference calls, things like that. So the first is like a foundation combination that I've been finding lasts all day for me. Originally, when I tried the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, I thought it was breaking me out, but I've been using it for the past couple of weeks and I haven't been having that issue. And this one's a bit too warm for me, so I can't wear it alone, but the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation, this one's in the shade 810 Classic Ivory, is a little bit too fair and a little bit too cool. So if I mix these together, it gives me a beautiful glow and this one lasts all day on me, keeps me relatively matte. So these two together, I have the long wearing property of this and like the glow and warmth of this. And together, it's just a beautiful, like natural looking foundation. If I go too heavy with this, it'll definitely look thick and cakey. But applying an appropriate amount together is a gorgeous combination. So this has definitely been like my go-to for the month. I've also been loving this uh, Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. If I just wanna like spray something on, pounce it in with a sponge, add a little bronzer, mascara, that's also been like a fast and easy go-to product this month. A product that I knew I loved, but I forgot just how much I loved it was the MAC Fix Plus Spray. I purchased a new bottle at the beginning of the month and I'm already probably like, I don't know, a fifth of the way through it. Now this isn't a setting spray, but when like I go in and I powder really heavily, or if I'm just using a powder foundation, this makes it look so skin-like. I sprayed it on top of my makeup today because I did a skin balm and then I lightly powdered and I just felt like things weren't looking that fresh. I feel like this is like a go-to. So like if I need to get ready quickly before a meeting and my makeup's looking a little bit like expired, I feel like this refreshes it so well. And I guess that's why it's called Fix Plus, like it fixes it. Really great product. If you've never tried it, highly recommend. Some cream products I tried this month, the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Cream Shadows, the ones that are a collab with Kelsey Ballerini. These shades are beautiful and super sparkly. And I was actually going through cleaning out my collection because I've tried to downsize to just what's here. I'm trying to get rid of other furniture in my beauty space to limit the footprint of my beauty space because it's in our master bedroom. And with my husband and I both working from home, he needs a separate office space when I have calls than I do. And I can't really move mine because I have monitors and everything. So we've cut down my beauty space here to about 
two thirds of what it was so that we can put a desk on the other side of this divider. So my divider stops here, whereas before I had more room and I also had the backdrops and everything, but I'm trying to simplify, minimize as much as I can because I still love playing with makeup. It is a creative outlet. So in doing so, I got rid of most of my Stila liquid shadows and liquid glitters. So I have been relying on these when I want like that bit of glitz and glam and they're really beautiful, easy to apply, really, really fantastic formula. So I highly recommend these. Another product I tried for the first time this month is the Gen C. This is, I think their mixed media matte liquid eyeshadow. And this one's in the shade Reef. So this is what it looks like, but I've been using it as a blush and it is gorgeous. Now I've seen in videos that these are mix and matchable. You can use them on your eyes, on your lips, on your cheeks. This one is a beautiful blush color. So if you have a similar skin tone to me, I would say I'm like fair, light, neutral undertones. This is gorgeous. Another product that I rediscovered while I was cleaning everything out and I was like testing things with my daughter, my four-year-old, she likes to help me up here. She's like, I'm gonna do a video and she does her makeup, it's really cute. So I rediscovered this r Co. Serious Gaze Fragrance Spray. And this is like, a, I believe a hair fragrance. And I had two of them. The first one I felt like smelled like dirt. This one I was on the fence about. So I sprayed it in my daughter's hair. I sprayed it in my hair as we were like cleaning things out. And I was like, you know what? That smells really good. So I've been back into using this a lot, especially now that I'm like working from home. Sometimes I'll like be in my pajamas for like two days straight and I just don't feel that pretty. <laughs> or I'll just be wearing loungewear and I'm like, you know what? Like I just, I need like a pick me up. So I've been spraying this in my hair and it smells really, really good. Finally is a heated lash curler. And I don't know the brand of this. I believe it came from Amazon. What I like about this one is it has a lid. So it'll be kept clean and dust free. It turns on and off. And then on the back, see these little red lines here? It's an indicator for when your lash curler has reached the temperature that you set it at. And then it has a digital display here so you can pick which temperature you want it at. So if your lashes are very fine and don't require much heat to curl them, there's a lower setting. If they're thicker and stronger and you require a little bit more, there's a higher setting. And I just think this works so well. I do my mascara, I let it dry, and then I turn this on, let it heat up, and then I will just kind of like go at the root of my lashes and just kind of like push them up while it's warm. And it, it works so much better than like a typical lash curler. Lash curlers always pinch and like crimped my lashes this lifts and holds the curl and makes them look so much fuller. So this is a really good product. I will link it below if I can find it. And my apologies if you can hear the rain. I am still filming upstairs right by the skylights and it is pouring. <laughs> but that is it for my March favorites. I'm hoping that in the next couple of months I'll have moments to try new products, like either before my day starts or during my lunch break or at night when the kids go to bed. So I'm hoping next month I will have more new reviews and new makeup thoughts for you. I will do my best to post here and there, but if it is slower as far as how many videos I'm getting out, please bear with me as I get used to the full-time job gig, full-time mom gig, and part-time beauty content creator. So hope you guys enjoyed my March favorites. If you did, remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Happy Easter.